Sarah, thanks for sitting down with us today. Um, tell us a little bit about Water of Life. Yeah, so Water of Life is a nonprofit based in Greenville, South Carolina, and we have a vision of the world where everybody has access to clean water and everybody is equipped to become a disciple of Jesus and just one village at a time, one well drilled at a time, one church plant at a time, we're working to make that vision a reality. What impact has working for Water of Life had on your life? I think working for Water of Life has made me much more intentional with all of the decisions that I've made and how I spend my time and my resources and just being more aware of not just my piece of the world, but the world in general. I think prior to working here, I didn't think twice before turning on the water or taking an extra long shower where I realized, oh, the water I consume in a shower is the same amount of water that a family uses for their entire day. And so I think being more aware of the blessings that I have and how that's not the reality for the entire world has made me much more intentional with what do I need and what, if I don't need it, what can I give? And how can this be a benefit to not only the world around me, but ultimately to glorify God. So I think just being really honed in and specific on how I use my time and resources. Tell us about some of your Water of Life favorite stories um, from one of your trips abroad. I think my favorite story, honestly, is for my first trip. I had been working for Water of Life probably six months before I traveled to West Africa. And so Sierra Leone was the first country that I went to and we got off the plane and settled in and we were lucky to be able to spend a week in a village where our drill crew was. And so I got to see really pieces of the entire process from start to finish. And so we show up day one and the drill crew was there and they were starting to prepare the land. And I saw a mom walking with her two children and I have two children myself. And so they were walking and they passed where the drill crew was. And so we kind of, you know, followed behind to see where they were going and they were collecting water for the day and they had a stick with a twig sticking out that they hooked a bucket to and they just lowered it into a hole in the ground and that water was gross. It was dirty and they were bugs, but this was a mother trying to get water for her children. And I think all of the stories I read and all of the photos that I had seen prior to coming on that trip, I think seeing that mom with her kids lower the bucket into the hole in the ground to get water for her family just hit me at how real this was and how needed it was and how much of an impact this work makes. And so just this sense of joy that I don't think I've ever felt before from the village and compared to five days earlier when I saw the mom lower the bucket down, just realizing physically how big of an impact this was gonna make in their village. And then a couple days later, it was Sunday, so we got to visit worship. The sense of joy continued and they were so grateful and to hear their stories of how this water had affected the village and the community and how it was gonna change and some neighboring villages sharing about how there weren't outbreaks of cholera, but also hearing from the pastor how the church was so small and how it had grown and how people were really wanting to worship, but that they wanted, they wanted more, they were hungry to grow in the word of God. And so I think having that kind of focused perspective on this village and how from start to finish, how it really changed just sticks with you. What's the best way to reach out and connect with you if our listeners want to help? Um, our website is a great resource. It's givefreshwater.org. And we're on most of the social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And then through that, if you read, gather information, our email addresses and phone numbers are there, and we would love to connect. So if you have a story or just want to share or have a question, feel free to email or call us. That's super. Thanks so much, Sarah. We appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you.